The film starts in the island of Manuriki, where a team of superheroes are trying to stop a frost giant called Ymir from conquering the world. The heroes include Thor, the Hulk, Iron Man, Captain Fancy Suit, a trainee called Reptile, and Captain Marvel. The frost giant holds a powerful casket of winters in his hands, which they plan to recover before he opens it up and the world is overcome with eternal winter. They attack him together, and Permafrost drops the casket. During the fight, the trainee Reptile, sent to watch the boats, sees Loki, and he reports to Captain America, but he is never distracted during fights, and they lose communication. Reptile confronts Loki himself, but he is not an average villain, and he creates a giant hole in the sky, which starts sucking in everything, including the Frost Giant. Captain America retrieves the casket after defeating the Frost Giant, while the Hulk holds together the superheroes. Later, Loki meets up with the Frost Giant who claims the warmth in the island made him weak, and the meddlers were fortunate. Loki is not amused, since his brother Thor is now delivering the Casket of Winters to a safe place in Asgard, and they need to formulate a new plan to conquer the world. Therefore, Ymir, the Lord of Ice, narrates an ancient tale of the legend Jolnir, a part Frost Giant and elf born with immense powers, which he used to help the weak and the children. Nowadays, Jolnir is better known as Santa Claus and his power is so good that each winter he brings gifts to all the children of the Nine Worlds, and he does so in just one night. To usurp his power, Ymir suggests they use the Casket of Ancient Powers, which can transfer abilities from one being to another. Fortunately, the Casket resides in the same place as Jolnir, in Afheim, the home of the elves, and with this brilliant plan in mind, the hunt for Santa Claus is on. But first, Loki has to create a distraction for their heroic friends. And he fetches a dinosaur from who knows where. In the meantime, Cap is giving Reptile some lessons in teamwork, while Iron Man surprisingly showers with his suit on. Suddenly, Loki's dinosaur starts rampaging outside, and the heroes team up to help the civilians. First up is the Hulk, who attacks the dinosaur, but he earns a tail slap, which sends him into a costume shop. Option B is to use the brain. An Iron Man asks the kid, Reptile, to transform his head into a dinosaur's, and the dinosaur is happy to see its baby, and it calms down. Meanwhile in space, Guardians of the Galaxy members, Groot and Rocket, are having a hard time with their old scrap of a ship, and they really need a new ship. Rocket then reads a wanted message about a criminal called Jolnir, aka Santa Claus, with an enormous bounty on his head, wanted for mass burglary, animal cruelty, and stealing cookies from kids. Rocket plans to use the money to buy a new ship, and they set a course for Alfheim to find the villain. Loki and Ymir finally get to Alfheim, and they find the place repulsive with all of its warmth and joy, and they have to ask for directions to the Casket of Ancient Powers. Back in the Avengers Tower, Thor returns from safekeeping the Casket of Winters, and the heroes call for an emergency meeting, believing Loki has moved on to a more sinister plan. Thor discovers Loki's scheme of sending a great reward for Santa's capture, and Iron Man finds it funny. However, supercomputer Jarvis then explains Santa's physics. Santa is able to travel to closely 571 million homes on Earth in just one night, which is an impossible task. Now it appears to them that Santa truly has incredible powers, and they figure out that Loki could be after him. Thor, however, thinks that Jolnir is just a myth while Iron Man doesn't even believe in Santa Claus, and they decide to take a trip to Alfheim to prove these facts. Thor refuses them access to Rainbow Bridge, but Iron Man has his own interdimensional gateway. In Alfheim, Loki and Ymir subdue an elf guard commander, and they ask him to direct them to the Casket of Ancient Powers. Meanwhile, Captain America finally lets Reptil join the journey, since he believes in Santa Claus and the team crosses through the portal. In Alfheim, they are attacked by the elves who ask that they return their missing commander, Athedel. But after realizing that Loki and Ymir could actually be the ones who have captured the commander, they decide to work together. Meanwhile, back on Earth, it's the festive season, and the Hulk can't wait for Christmas because of his love for Santa, who comes with his unpredictable and awesome presence. Later, Groot and Rocket land in Alfheim, the land filled with cookies and ginger men. The ginger men are not happy to see them, and they attack them, and the duo are forced to run away. Elsewhere, Loki and Ymir finally get to the casket, but it is heavily guarded by a creature called the Jurokraken, 
which isn't so happy with the uninvited guests. The other team arrives, and the guard explains that Alfheim protects Jolnir against his enemies, and now Loki will be taken to oblivion by the beast. However, Loki is not your average villain, since he calms the beast with his magic and it retreats into the abyss, while Emir freezes the guard. Loki then crumbles the cave and they escape with the box, leaving Commander Athedel trapped there. Later, the superheroes and the guards find the commander and the heroes are directed to find Santa at Mount Jollyholm. On Earth, Thor and Hulk enter a toy store to purchase toys to give to children, and they meet the shopkeeper called Nicholas, who resembles Santa Claus, and they decide to also take him with them while they charge the expenses to Tony Stark. Back in Alfheim, Rocket and Groot capture a guy riding a sleigh, but it turns out to be Mrs. Claus, Santa's wife. Mrs. Santa then offers them a ride to their home to meet Santa, and they board hoping she will help her bag her husband and the sleigh jets off. Loki and Ymir reach Mount Jolly, but the place is covered with Jolnir's magic and Loki is unable to create a portal in it, so they wait for the other decoy to act first. The superheroes soon arrive at the mountaintop, but Santa's house disappears and Reptil is disappointed. He won't be meeting Santa. Meanwhile on Earth, Thor and the Hulk find a sleigh, and they put Nicholas in it to act as Santa so they could start delivering gifts everywhere. Nicholas is terrified of the idea, but Thor flies them with his hammer. In Alfheim, the superheroes are cornered by the elves, and Reptil speaks up and asks for their leniency since Santa has left and they surprisingly listen to him. They then reveal that Jolnir greatly treasures young ones, and the elves themselves can sense who truly believes in Jolnir, and hence they trust Reptil's words. It is also the time of giving for Jolnir to distribute gifts to the children of the Nine Realms, beginning with Midgard in the North Pole, and the superheroes plan to go back and find him. Meanwhile, Groot and Rocket are taken on a wild ride with Mrs. Claus, but they find Santa missing, and they have to find him, and Mrs. Claus asks them to join in their ship. Loki later hypnotizes a group of elves so they could help him capture Jolnir back on Earth. While Thor and the Hulk are delivering gifts, the superheroes also search for Santa, but they fail. Later, they find a house in the snow, and they stay in it to warm up. Rocket and Groot are now sad to find out from Mrs. Santa that Santa Claus is actually an awesome guy, and they got it all wrong. Back in the warm house, Reptil explains how Santa once gave him dozens of reptile toys after he lost his toy, which is why he loves him, while Captain Marvel also recalls how Santa gave him tickets to an air show when she asked for a plane toy. Captain America loved baseball, and Santa delivered him a bat and a ball. When Iron Man was six, he said he didn't believe in Santa and told him to keep his presents, and his letter returned unopened, so he believes there is no Santa. However, their light moment is interrupted by Loki and Ymir, who are also looking for Santa Claus. When the two capture the heroes, presents rain from the sky like meteorites, and Thor and the Hulk appear just on time to rescue their friends. They also introduce their Santa lookalike friend, Nicholas, who has never been more terrified. Loki then threatens to kill the young trainee Reptil unless they deliver Santa to him. Just then, Santa Claus himself appears from nowhere, and Loki tries to attack him, but Santa easily thwarts his magic. Loki is shocked that Santa can control space-time, and Loki opens up the casket of ancient powers to take away his powers. Loki then possesses the power of Santa Claus, and he now moves super fast like the wind, and he plans to eliminate the heroes. Reptil then awakens Santa since he still believes in him, but he is too weak and all the heroes team up to fight Loki. They finally defeat Loki and the elf guards capture him. Reptil is excited to meet Santa Claus and Iron Man is sorry for doubting Santa, and he offers to help in gift deliveries. However, Ymir is still lurking around and he traps them in ice crystals, but they are rescued by Rocket and Groot, who came with Mrs. Santa. Later that night, Santa Claus flies the team in his sleigh, and he tells Reptil that he is planning to surprise his lookalike, Nicholas, with a new car. Santa Claus is also helped by the Hulk, who is throwing down the gifts around like rockets while Iron Man delivers presents on foot. Santa later hands presents to the heroes, and Mrs. Santa grants Rocket and Groot a newer, bigger ship. Loki and Ymir are forced to rebuild Santa's cottage, and they are not so happy about it. Mrs. Claus thanks Groot and he grows more leaves, and the Hulk leads them in singing the Christmas songs, bringing the exciting film to an end. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to our channel. I'll be back with another interesting movie recap. Until then, take care.